Hey everybody and welcome to Hello Boutique. Today we are going to be making DIY hand sanitizer. PSA, before we get into the video, hand sanitizer is not a replacement to washing your hands. You should be washing your hands for 20 seconds under running water with soap. And with that said, let's get into what you need. Some things you will need for this DIY hand sanitizer is rubbing alcohol. It is recommended that you have alcohol that is above 60%. If you don't, work with what you got. Some other things you'll need is some aloe vera. Right here I have some chunks. You do not need the actual plant chunks. You can use gel, the aloe vera gel that comes in a container, whatever you have at home. You will need a measuring cup. Right here I just have a fourth of a cup, but you can use any size you would like. So you need some containers to store your hand sanitizer in. Right here I have some honey bear containers with some lids. Um, and just an example, you can also use a jar. I like the honey bear containers because um, the tops come with a seal. And they also have like the little, the little hole that you can squirt it out from. So it's really nice. Um, you will need a knife to skin the aloe vera. Obviously, if it's already in a gel, you won't be able, you won't need to, you won't need to skin it. But if you have the plant, I would recommend getting a older sibling or an adult to help you with this um, step. You also need a blender. Right here, I have our ninja. Um, we need the blender to blend the aloe vera. And you will need any glass bowl, or not even glass, you can use any bowl with a whisk. And also an extra plate. I have an extra plate right here on standby for cutting the aloe vera. Our aloe vera was in the freezer. So it has like a little water on the plate, but it's perfectly fine. I don't want to set the recipe or anything. And now let's get into the video. First things first, we are going to start by skinning our aloe vera. Um, by skinning, I mean we're just going to take the green stuff off because all we need is the gel. The gel will help moisturize our skin when we use it with the alcohol alcohol is really drying so the aloe will help keep your skin nice and moisturized so right here i have four chunks of aloe you obviously don't need four chunks of aloe you can use how much aloe you have you can use two chunks or you can use five squirts of your gel it's just going to end up being a 50 50 recipe so the same amount of aloe vera gel we use we're also going to use the same amount of alcohol so that said let's start by skinning our aloe vera you can skin aloe vera in many different ways. I'm just going to start by sliding my knife like nice and up against the skin area until it peels off. You can get a peeler, a cucumber peeler, apple peeler, and just peel the skin off any way you want. Sometimes if it's even soft enough, you'll be able to like pull the skin off after you get it off the majority of the way. But I'm just going to start by skinning it with my knife. As you see here, you want to always try to cut away from you. Again... Um, if you need to get an older sibling or an adult to do this, uh, it is highly recommended that you do this with an adult. <clears throat> so let's see here, I'm just going to keep sliding my knife back and forth against the aloe vera skin until it's ready to come off. It's mostly off and we're just going to tug it and there we are. There goes half peeled out of the layer. You see it's dripping, it's all sticky. That's the good stuff. That's the gel we need. So as you see, I'm going to do this with the rest of our four aloe vera, and you'll, I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to see me do this in real time. So enjoy.
now that we're finished cutting our aloe, as you can see, it's really sticky. It's a lot going on here. I'm actually gonna just get a napkin and try to get some of this off of my gloves. All right. Now when you're done, I'm gonna try to show you, but I have all this aloe. So if the lighting will let me show you a chunk. Here's a chunk of our aloe. And we got a full clip. And now we are gonna blend our aloe in our blender for about two minutes. Just gonna open up the blender. I also recommend you get an older sibling or adult for this part. Let me um, try to move the blender so you guys can see it better. There we go. We are just gonna pour our aloe in. Nice and easy. We're gonna pour our aloe in. And we're gonna put the top on. Now we're gonna blend the aloe. done blending we're just going to take the top off and as you can see your aloe may have foamed up a bit also i want to mention um this blending part won't be necessary if you already have your aloe gel in like a bottle this is specifically because i have the plant and we just want to get it like more thinner and more applicable applicable so we're just going to take the blades out. We're going to throw these over here. And there goes our aloe gel, ready to be mixed in. We're going to measure, and we're going to get our bowl now, and our measuring cup. And we're going to measure how many aloe, how much aloe gel we're going to put in our bowl. So, very foamy. That's one. Ooh. Let me do two. Three. Like a little bit of extra. We'll just put a little extra alcohol. So that's three. Now we're going to get our alcohol. Again, if you don't have, I know alcohol is kind of hard to find along with aloe, aloe vera, the plant. So if you have any family members or you happen to find some in the store, this is really good. Um, also, it's not completely recommended because you want the highest percent of alcohol you have. But if you don't have alcohol, like any tequila or drink you might have at home, this will also work. But I recommend getting you some alcohol that's like 90% or higher. So we're just going to put three in. So that's one... Two, three, and a little more. Put a little extra bit of aloe we had on here. And this is great. From here, you can do a couple things with your hand sanitizer. This is the basic recipe. After you mix this or blend it, it's done. You can put it in your bottle and it's ready to be packaged. Some things you may want to do with it, if you want to have a little fun with it, is you can add some fragrances. You can add essential oils, fragrance oils. You can add peppermint oils. Uh, I actually, as you know, I own a boutique, so I have some fragrance oils on hand. But just to keep this soap really bland in general, we're not going to add any. Another option is you can add some oils. You can add coconut oil, palm oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, any oil you have at home that is skin um that will skin safe and moisturizing this recipe can actually be quite drying even though we have the aloe in it it tends to leave your skin after a while dry but adding those oils will leave your skin moisturized and will help the aloe out um it doesn't always you can also use vitamin e oil which i know some people might have at home 
And with that said, we are going to whisk this for about three minutes until it's fully incorporated. You don't have to whisk this. You can also put it, throw it back in the blender. But for the sake, we're gonna whisk it today. So we're gonna start whisking and I'll see you guys in two minutes. Now that our hand sanitizer is fully mixed together, it's ready to be put in the jars. Again, this is aloe and it can't completely be blended, so it may separate. But if you put this in your bottle, give it a good shake, it'll be nice and easy. You can go right at it again. Um, the shelf date, I'm assuming this will last a pretty long time. I don't believe that the aloe will get oxidized by the air in any way because of the added alcohol i'll have to double check on that but you should be good for a while um again i want to reiterate this is not an alternative to washing your hands you should be washing your hands for 20 seconds this is just something if you're out or happen to not be able to reach the sink it's an easy go-to so now we're just going to also if you don't like the chunkiness of this by all means, go drain this out. You should be able to still get the aloe vera gel in it. You just won't get all the chunks. So I'm gonna pour this into our honey, our honey beers. You should be able to fill up maybe one and a half, it's looking like. Again, this is just, this isn't even half of a plant. As you see, aloe plants can be huge. So you can use a full plant. You'll be able to make many, many more jars way more jars just gonna throw the caps on these these should last you a while again a little goes a long way these are fully concentrated as you see there's no extra additives in these this is just the aloe vera gel and the alcohol it will have a little bit of smell unless you added your fragrance oils if you wanted to but this is good. Um, I'm actually going to use some on my hands and show you. My hands are clean because I washed them before we did this video. But for the sake of this video, I will use some. I'll use the one that's not full. Again, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Um, here, let me if I can put you closer. You can see like the little aloe vera gel. There's a little bit of skin in there. I couldn't skin them completely off. There's a little bit. But it's all mixed together. It's all nice. It's also going to feel a little sticky at first. Keep, keep That's why I say don't use too much. Because again, there is aloe vera gel in it. And aloe, a property of aloe vera is it is sticky. I'm going to take the seal off. So a little bit. Rub it in. Nice. Your hands are clean. It's great. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my skin. Right here. going to rub it in. nice and clean nice and clean get all those germs off and keep rubbing rub for about 10 to 20 seconds and it will blend all nicely in with the skin and no stickiness no residue left on my hands it's great you may get a little bit of aloe vera gel left on your hands sometimes but you just like keep rubbing it in and you'll be all good so again i hope you enjoy this video um, I will have some extra things and facts about hand sanitizer and I want to make sure everyone stays safe and I hope you guys like this recipe. I hope everyone stays safe I hope you guys like this recipe. I will have all the ingredients, instructions, and everything I'm using this video listed down below. Um, there's plenty of other recipes out there. They're all quite similar to this one, but um, if you would like, please go check out other people's recipes. I just want everyone to stay safe and stay healthy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! I'm trying to think about what to say. <laughs>